Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to change the resolution of your game in NGS because uh, I recently just built a new PC in Shanghai and when I tried to launch the game it kept launching the game in 1080p because that was what it was saved at on my laptop because my laptop's a 1080p monitor but I now have a 2K monitor or a 1440p monitor and for whatever reason I couldn't get it to launch in 1440p and so I had to jump through like several hours of loopholes in order to figure out what the heck was wrong. Now, for those who simply just want the TLDR on how to change the resolution, you're simply going to launch the game first. It doesn't matter whether you're playing on Steam, Epic Game Store, or on the Microsoft Store, because you have to launch their launcher anyway, which is actually this screen right here. Once you get to this screen, you're going to click on Environment Settings over here, and this is where you're going to change it from Windows Mode, Virtual Full Screen, Full Screen Mode, whatever, and then right here is the screen size. You're going to select the screen size, and you're going to select whatever resolution resolution you want. Now the issue that I had before was this was unchecked and it was just virtual full screen mode so I didn't know what the resolution was and so every time I launched the game it was actually in windowed mode because the screen that I'm using here is a 1440p screen but it was launching the game in 1080p which it considered full screen which uh, obviously was not the case. So in order to fix this, if you still want to play on virtual full screen mode, is simply select screen size, tick this, and then select whatever resolution. Text size, it doesn't really matter. By default, it's 1.4 for me. And then uh, the refresh rate, it's just going to default to whatever your regular screen's refresh rate is. Now, if you want to play in full screen mode, it's the same thing. You're going to click on full screen and right here you can select your refresh rate. So that is also pretty important because uh, I launched the game originally on full screen once and my refresh rate was 30 hertz and the game was absolutely awful. So make sure that you do check the refresh rate if you are playing full screen mode. All right. Now, once you've set everything, you're going to click on save settings and it'll say settings saved. This is where I had my very first problem. It would say failed to save or unable to save and it would just keep failing and I was not able to actually save any of these settings. So because of that, I wasn't able to change the resolution. So what exactly was the problem? Well, it just so happens this is the first time that I'm installing Windows 11 and there's this stupid program called OneDrive. So what OneDrive actually does is it actually saves some of your stuff mainly my documents on the cloud. And because it was uploading my documents onto the cloud and syncing it all the time, it kept erasing all of the settings that I had for PSO2. As you can see right here, Fantasy Star Online 2 and a Steam. So in order to fix this problem, all you need to do is find the Sega folder in my documents. You're gonna highlight it, right click on it, and there's actually always keep on this device. You have to click on this first. I didn't do this and that's why I had all of these issues. Once you've done that, you're going to see that it's now going to have a green background check mark, which means it is saved locally on your computer. Once that is done, you can right click, you can go to more options, go to properties, and you're going to see the tab location. Now for my observant friends, you may have noticed I'm actually opening a different folder. And the reason for this is because I've already done it with my Sega folder. I've already moved it. So I'm not unable to find the location thing again for whatever reason. But nevertheless, you're going to find location. And then once you find it, then you're going to click on move. And once you click on move, then you're going to find your local drive, which I'm assuming is probably C drive for most of you guys. And then you're going to go to users and then you're going to find whatever you named your computer. If you named it, it'll pop up over here. And once you click into that, you're going to find documents and you're going to save it right here. As you can see, I do have the Sega folder saved right here under documents. And then you're simply just going to click on select folder. There's going to be a pop up saying, would you like to move everything? And you just say yes, 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 yes. If there's any problems that do pop up when it says, would you like to move everything you just say no and then everything will work out now once all of that is done then you can relaunch the game through steam epic game store whatever platform you're using go back to environmental settings now you can change the resolution and then when you click on save settings you will now see settings saved now let's say that you follow every step so far and you're still having problems then the next step i would recommend is to download the pso2 tweaker in order to find the pso2 tweaker you're simply just going to type pso2 tweaker download 
and you're just going to search it up. As you can see right here, it's from the arcs layer. You're going to click on PSO2 tweaker right here. It's going to open up this page. I will leave the link in the description below so that you can find it immediately. And then you're simply just going to download it under download link one. Now, once you've downloaded the folder, it's just going to give you a PSO2 tweaker. It's very important that you do not launch this on your desktop. You need to make a specific folder. So for example, in my case, I literally just went to C drive and made a folder called PSO2 tweaker, pop the .exe file over here, and then I launch it. So the moment you launch it, the very first time it's going to ask you a bunch of questions saying, hey, did you download the game already? Uh, what platform are you using? Are you playing on the global server or the JP server? So forth and so on. Go through all of those options. Once all of that is done, you'll notice that all these new files pop up in the folder that you put it in and it's not a big deal. But the main thing that you need to look at is over here. As you can see here, program has been opened successfully, blah, blah, blah. There's no problems. However, if there is any problem, it will tell you up here. It'll tell you, hey, your OneDrive is still activated and there'll be like a FAQ on how to disable it and how to change everything. But do not just uninstall OneDrive because that's exactly what I did at the very beginning. I was just like, oh, it's OneDrive's problem. Let's just go to add and remove, remove OneDrive, bada bing, bada boom. It did not solve the problem. It caused even more issues. I had to re-download and reinstall OneDrive and go through all of the trouble to make sure that, hey, my documents was saved locally because the way that PSO2 works is, well, it just saves to my documents and it loads that script that is saved there all the time. And if you just delete OneDrive, it doesn't have that text document to load everything and it just crashes and you just can't launch the game. So, you know, you're going to use the tweaker. It's going to identify what the heck is wrong with your game, and then you can fix it through there. Now, if you just want to play the game through the tweaker, that's not a big deal too. Once that's all done, you can simply go to PSO2 settings over here. You can select your resolution, your FPS, all of that stuff. You can do everything here as well. However, once that is all done and when you click save, you need to pay attention right here if it actually saved or not. As you can see here, it did not actually save those settings that I just did because I'm currently using a custom reference resolution for NGS. And because of this tweaker has not modified it, if you experience issues, blah, 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 blah. All right. So just make sure that you actually read the text over here as it will identify all the problems as well as uh, figure out what is wrong with the game right now. OK, and then if you just want to play through this, perfectly fine. You just click start PSO2 and you can just play through the launcher if that is something that you want to do. Uh, personally, I like to use the tweaker as a last resort to fix any issues or to identify what the heck is wrong with my game. And then once everything is done, then I just uninstall the tweaker and I still launch the game through Steam normally. So, you know, that's just how I like to do things. However, end of the day, you can do whatever works for you because we just want to play NGS anyway. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.